It's a beautiful summer's day here in Scotland, and I'm making my way to the choppy Firth of Forth to see a truly amazing spectacle. It's one I've wanted to see ever since I was a wee boy, and Sir David Attenborough described it as one of the 12 wildlife wonders of the world. My destination is this massive lump of basalt you can see behind me, protruding up through the waves like a rocky oasis. It's called the Bass Rock, a two kilometer long volcanic plug dating back to the early Carboniferous. That makes it a whopping 350 million years old. What we see today is the remains of a volcano event, and it's the summer home for a spectacular creature, the Gannet. With a wingspan of up to two meters, that's bigger than me, these guys are the largest seabird in the whole North Atlantic. I can't wait to see one. I'm sitting on top of the Bass Rock right now, and there are gannets everywhere. I've never seen so many seabirds in one place. And they're socializing, some are bickering, some are courting. It's a hive of activity. In fact, there are over 150,000 individual gannets on the rock right now. This makes it the largest island colony of gannets in the whole world. Here we have some female gannets and their chicks. I think the males are off fishing at the moment. Now, gannets normally arrive on the Bass Rock in January or February, and it's the male who arrives first. And he comes straight back to the exact same nesting spot they had last year. And he goes there and makes sure no one else has taken the spot and does a series of displays to ward them away. And the female turns up a few weeks later and he makes a huge fuss of her. They normally indulge in a bit of beak fencing, kind of like a gannet kiss. And they greet each other in this way every time they meet, even if they've been a pair for about 15 years or more. And they say romance is dead. What I personally find most amazing about gannets is how they hunt. Gannets are often called torpedoes of the sky. During a dive, they can reach speeds of up to 60 miles an hour before slamming into the water. To help them punch safely through the surface, gannets are able to fold their wings right up close against their body. They also have air pockets on their chest, which act a bit like bubble wrap, cushioning the impact. On top of this, gannets have a complete lack of nostrils, very useful when diving headfirst at 60 miles an hour. In a month or so, all these gannets will be leaving here, bound for their winter home off the west coast of Africa. I've had an unforgettable experience today, hanging out with these seabirds. It's time for me to head back to dry land.